How's it going, guys? Coily here. Uh, this is actually take number three. Number one, got halfway through the video with my mic muted. GG, classic Coily. Number two, my dog started wrestling about a quarter of the way through the video, which pretty much ruined the audio there. Another classic Coily. So let's try this again here. Uh, what I'm trying to do here in this video today is instruct uh, my fellow Shadow Priests and potentially other classes to some degree on how to make the most use out of AskMrRobot.com website when optimizing their characters. Now, I use and recommend this website a lot uh, because it's a it's really a great tool to maximizing the effectiveness of your reforging and gemming and enchanting, uh, which can become quite complicated these days with all of the uh, various you know challenges. There's lots of stats going on. Uh, nowadays, you know, there's the casters using expertise gems and etc. So basically, you're, you're going to come to Asmus Robot. You're going to load this page here. I re recommend making a profile. That way, it saves your characters and makes it easier the next time you come. Uh, but all you really need to do is click the green button, optimize your character. It's going to bring you to the load screen where you can load up a character. You can uh, check out generic character profiles or save profiles you've made. <laughs> and you can see characters you previously worked on. Uh, so I'm going to load this one up here. This is just a priest that I looked at that I saw had mostly, you know, everything going good for him. They had, were gymming and reforging pretty well, standard, but it looked like they could use a few little tweaks. Uh, as you can see here, this is all the gear on the character. This is all your current gems and enchants. And this is your current stats. If you look here, you see spell hit at 15.47. That's almost half a percent over uh, the max, the required cap. So that means all all of the extra is completely wasted because hit rating is one of these stats that has a hard cap, meaning any any rating after that hard cap is completely wasted stats. So you want to try to distribute that into your stats that still have value. And this will help you do that. So when you start off here, you'll probably be on default build. Make sure your primary uh, spec, it should have your spec you logged out in. If you refresh anything, you can just hit update from armory. Now, the default build is Devouring Plague plus 3 haste of 41.75. And then you can also switch it to alternative build, which is the GCD 50% haste cap with the mastery crit split which is uh, optimal for high-end users with good latency and having two-piece and especially uh, if they have bindings as well so pick whichever one of these you want default DP plus 3 or alternate haste 50% for this one we're going to be going with GCD 50% now before you do anything else I want you to go over to the edit weights button right next to that this is very important because oftentimes this will be unchecked by default. Uh, and oftentimes in the past, although not uh, not too much recently because of the changes to Shadow Priest, this is more of a cataclysm thing. But it was sometimes optimal to run under the hit cap. But you don't really want to do that, especially um, if you can avoid it. So you're going to want to make sure to check Enable at Least Mode. This is going to ensure that you're at 15% hit at minimum. And if you can't reach that exact, then it'll go over rather than under. Now you can experiment with turning it off if you're comfortable running a little under, but I would say if it puts you anything under 14.95, I turn it back on. Um, I even don't like to run under that too much, but it's not generally going to hurt you. So, you know, at your own discretion. But as I said again, recommendation is to have this checked. Now, for the GCD cap, it's going to be by default set at manual 18 to 16. Uh, there's a smart picker which you can use to set. Uh, there's DP plus 3, and this one will automatically adjust if you're goblin or whatnot. Uh, it's also useful if you're very low geared and you don't have enough gear to even hit DP plus 3 and you need to go for one of the lower ones like VT plus 2 which is a common one or even Shadow Retain plus 2 
and this will what let you do that because if you if you use the default build which is the DP plus three and you can't reach it what it's going to do is it's going to try to get you to gem outrageous amounts of haste and even when you still can't reach it it's just going to have you running suboptimal which uh, isn't necessarily good it's it's really good tool but you have to sometimes know how to use it so like I said again if you're under geared and you can't reach these use the smart picker to go down until you hit one that you can reach without completely messing up your gemming. Uh, but hopefully you don't have to worry about that because you have some pretty decent gear and you can just run the manual uh, or the smart picker for DP plus 3. Now if you are goblin and you're running manual you don't need it to be at 18 to 16. You need it to be at 17, 6, 14 I want to say. Uh, but basically this number should make it say 50% here. Uh, but yeah, 17614 should be the goblin GCD cap. Now, once that's done, you can click save. And then all you need to do is come to this green button that says optimize, hit it, and boom. All these highlighted green are what you need to change. As you can see here, the hit cap, for instance, went down to a nice 15.01, losing that mostly half a percent of extra hit and giving it into more mastery and crit. You also notice we're losing a little int here. Uh, that's because it's going to be recommending that we swap out many of those int hybrids for expertise hybrids, which uh, due to the high value of secondary stats currently, gaining more secondary stats through expertise in red sockets is the way to go. So this is going to be a huge gain in our secondary stats. Our mastery and crit are going up quite a bit here. You see in the regular gear 8649 crit, 8942 mastery. In the optimized gear 9329 mastery and 9487 crit. So big jumps in the crit, dropping out that useless hit rating and just getting a well-rounded bounce here. Haste just barely over that 50% so we're, we're getting very little loss here. As I said again, you can mouse over each of these. It's going to tell you what to reforge, what to gem. What I like to do though is go to the shopping list. Okay? This is going to give you a checkbox and it's going to show you everything you need to change. So first you come to the left side. This is going to tell you what you need to purchase or craft. So we're going to need one fractured sun radiance. Say I go to the auction house, I buy that. You can check it off. You don't have to do the checks. These are just for your own personal use so you can keep track of what you've already done. So I bought my gems already. Boom. If I had any enchants, it would say the mats for them up here, or just the enchant to buy if you're not going to make it yourself. And you come over here, and it's showing you main hand. We're going to put a keen vermilion onyx in it. So I do that next to the back, you know, etc. Put each gem that it says in here. Obviously, only the ones that are high lit are the ones you need to change. It's going to show your other ones here, but there's no check next to them, meaning they don't need to be changed. They're already optimal. So you come down and then you get to reforges. Restore obviously means just restore to its non-reforged state and leave it alone. And then restore then means restore it to its reforged state and then reforge it to a different reforge. So you get that. And then you go through that. And when you're done, you'll have an optimized Shadow Priest with as near perfect hit and balance stats as you possibly can get. And I believe that's pretty much all you'll need to know here. You can mess around with uh, other options and other classes if you'd like and see how you like it. But uh, it's a very valuable tool as long as you know some of the minor tweaks you may need to make in order to assure that you're getting the best results. Uh, enjoy and good luck in your endeavors to be the best Shadow Priest that you can be. See you guys later.